I've peddled myself here to Denver, Colorado. Now this is home to some of the country's finest craft beers. Let's go check it out. There are more than 100 breweries and brew pubs in Colorado, with over half of them in the greater Denver area. That place is Colorado's second in the U.S. in breweries per capita. That's primarily because of the water. Now since all the beer starts out as Rocky Mountain snow, the water is pure and clean, making it the Napa Valley of beer. I'm here at the Winku Brewery. This is Denver's oldest brew pub, and it's located right across the street from Denver's historic Union Station, which has served many a thirsty traveler over the years. Let's go inside and check it out. The Wincoop was opened in 1998 by reformed geologist John Hickenlooper, who is currently the mayor of Denver. This institution revitalized the lower downtown area, transforming it into a nightlife hotspot and giving it the nickname, the brew pub that built a neighborhood. Hey, what's going on, Andy? Clark, how you doing, Good buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Uh, finally made it to the famous Wincoop Brewery. Now, this is Andy Brown, he's the head brewer here. What are you making today? Uh, we're making our double IPA. Is that what this is? That's what that is, buddy. Might have to give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. <laughs> Hoppy. Very nice. Yeah. Should we go check it out? Let's go check it made? out, man. Yeah. All right, let's go to the brew house. and I actually fabricated it with a welder friend, a friend of mine. It used to be a uh, water filter. But we put this basket in and what we're doing is packing it full of these uh, whole leaf hops. And this whole purpose of this, this piece of equipment is to pack aroma into beers. This, cool this is my secret weapon that I designed yeah. for the wind coop. Yeah. Yeah. Pressurizable hop bag yeah. specific to the wind coop. The Wincoop's canning line is truly a hands-on process. Tucked in the bowels of the brewery, this operation makes it possible for you to shotgun a craft brew. Now tell us about some of the benefits of using a can over a bottle, which is the traditional packaging for a craft brew. Well, cans have a lot of benefits. Um, they're easier to transport, they don't weigh as much as glass bottles, they're easier to recycle, and also they can go places that bottled beer can't. And folks, the really cool thing about these cans is they have a cold activated sensor on them. So you, all you have to do is feel the can and you can actually tell that the beer inside is cold. These people take their beer seriously. So seriously that they hold the contest. Beer drinker of the year. Well, it's been said that there's no such thing as a free beer. Here to prove that that's not true is Cody Christman, winner of Wincoop Brewery's Beer Drinker of the Year Award. So Cody, how's your last 10 months with the title been? Uh, it is, Clark, it's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's been actually a beer lover's dream. Uh, I, it's opened a lot of opportunities for me to meet a number of people and do a lot of things that I wouldn't normally be able to do. And like you said, uh, I get free beer for life here, so there's nothing better than uh, drinking free beer at one of the, the country's best brew pubs right here at the Wind. We want to thank you for joining us on the show today. All right, Clark, Congratulations thank you so much. and cheers to you. Right. Little Monkey's Fist IPA. Yep. Cast condition. Yeah. Prost. The Wincoop brews over 600 gallons of beer a week. Most of it is consumed right here in the pub, and the rest of it is distributed only in Colorado. So if you're in the mood for one of their award-winning brews, you had better head towards the Rockies. Well, I've had a great time at the Wincoop Brewery. I'd like to thank everybody from the Wincoop staff, especially Cody, Beer Drinker of the Year, Andy, the head brewer. And if any of y'all are in Denver, I highly recommend you stop by the Wincoop Brewery and check out some of the delicious beers. Right now, I made Andy a promise, so I'm gonna make this delivery. See y'all next time.